Hello. Today, we'll be discussing how to get voice navigation on an Edge 820 to your mobile. And to do that, you'll need two things. That's this. It's an Edge 820. <laughs> and this. It's a mobile phone. So let's get straight on with it. First of all, you'll have to switch on your little Edge 820. That's right. And it'll switch on. Okay. Go straight into settings, down to Bluetooth, and make sure it's linked. Can you see? To your it's a smartphone, which is this thing, BT Edge 820, which is this thing. That means they're both ready to go. Okay, Edge 820 lovers. You're going to have to download this. It's a program and it's called Garmin Connect. You'll get it on any app store you can find. Download it, install it, and then start this up. Okay, next, go here. Just scroll down, go on Garmin Devices. Can you see there? Find the Edge 820 and then go down to Device Settings. Can you see that? I can. Audio prompts. Click on lap alerts, navigation alerts. That's the two I'm having. I haven't got a power meter. Pointless having it then. And uh, heart rate alerts. Have you got a belt and things like that? And this lap is what three, you want. Four fifty-eight average speed five point seven. That just gives you the 18. volume, a sample volume, which is actually control with the phone's um, volume control. So there we are. It should be all ready to go now because they're both linked together and this program tells that and that tells that what it want they both want to do okay so go back again to the main screen and you'll see if we swipe from the left please swipe to the left no I didn't ask for that please swipe to the left very well please thank you oh as you can see it won't work at the moment because there's no never there's no um it's not connected and the reason for that is this is none. It's got so bored it switched itself off. Now when it comes back on again, you'll see the green light come up. And as you can see here, it says searching, checking. Come on. And it's now linked. The green light goes green here. This thing says, I don't know what it means, download complete. I think it's synchronized with it now. And... Um, this means it all work, and this is what I found with this. Unless this is linked, this is on, this is on, it'll be fine. It's when the one or the other goes off, they lose connection now and again. Okay, so now it's ready. So what we do now is pick this thing up, go to navigation, go to whatever address you want to try. I'm just doing this to make life easier. And if we go to any street, preferably local, it won't take very long. And with luck, once it's finished calculating, the I'll turn up the volume on the side of this. When it gets to 100%, you should hear it come through here. And as you can see, it hasn't worked, which is just great. But this is what I find. Sometimes it doesn't work, and it is working, but it just it doesn't when you particularly do it. And if you don't believe me, I'll stop the navigation. For God's sake, thanks. That goes off like that. We cancel it. This is doing it live just to show you what you might experience. So if we go here, go back to navigation, let's try somewhere a bit more distance. It shouldn't make any real difference. Come on, that's it. Thank you. And then we go here, slightly more further than the other one. Shouldn't make any difference, but I found that sometimes you think it's not working and it is working. You've just got to go outside and try it, then it starts to work. So don't be put off just because it doesn't work immediately. As long as this green light here is on, it shows it's connected. 200 feet continue to Norman Road. There it is, it's working. Did you hear that? So it does work. As long as these two things are connected and they're Bluetooth, it will work. But they've got to be connected. Um, Now here's something that is confusing. You would think that when I say they're connected, um, it, they were essential that both this was on and that was on, the actual program connect. It isn't, because what I'm going to do now, 
I'm going to go here and I'm going to del um, end the program. So connect is not running. That one, the Garmin Connect, is not running. So you would think it wouldn't work. Really? Well, let's try this, shall we? Go to navigation again. Go to the, exactly the same one I went to. Um, the last one I programmed in. We go to ride and theoretically you think it won't work because this isn't running. Connect. But it does. So it seems that you must run them initially and then it'll work. So let's try it, see if it works again. 200 feet continue to Norman Road. There you go, it's working. So connect isn't on, but so long as they've connected at some point, you've switched on connect, it'll work. Um, so basically I'm quite pleased with that. I don't think it was going to work because the first one didn't work. I don't know if it was faulty, but I had to exchange it. So it does work. Um, and it looks pretty good and effective and quite loud, so I'm quite pleased with that. So basically, make sure they're both connected, that you've gone into the right settings and connect to program this, and then this will transmit back to that. Now, what could be simpler than I am? Cheerio, everyone. Thought Gallery Film. <laughs>